right. Well, uh, you know Lupe Fiasco is your boy, so I gotta ask. Yeah. How did you meet Lupe? Like first time. Uh, I met Lupe back like in '01. This was before he was Lupe Fiasco. This was when he was just like Lupe Fiasco. You know what I'm saying? Um, I met him through a, uh, uh, well, the guy wasn't really my friend. Guy, I met him through a rapper in Chicago, this kid, who thought I was nice. So me and that kid started going to the studio or whatever. Or one day, this is like in 2001. we like, yo, uh, let's go to the studio. I'm like, all right, cool, let's go. Like, this, this kid named Lupe, this, he's not like, yo, Fiasco coming. My, my homie, he's like, yo, my, my homie Fiasco gonna get on the song with us. So I'm like, who the fuck is Fiasco? He's like, my homie, he nice, Jay-Z wanna sign him. I'm like, all right, whatever. So we get to the studio. We waiting around like three hours for this kid to come through. He he never shows up. He never shows up, never shows up. Then three hours later, not going to do a doom, doom, doom. I'm like, all right, it's Lupe. So I'm like, oh, we've been waiting on this dude right here. Because, you know, you quick to, you should never judge a book by his cover. A little nerdy dude maybe with glasses on, ice, like big-ass iced out chain. I'm thinking it was fake, though. But that's what I get for judging a book by his cover. So he walked in the room. <clears throat> he was actually with, I don't know if y'all know Stack Bundles, who was with Dipset. Yeah. Him. He was signed to Lupe. God bless his soul. He, rest in peace, Stack Bundles. Like, he was signed with Lupe, with First and Fifteen. It was Lupe and Stack Bundles was Lupe's first artist. Stack Bundles and Lupe walked through the door. I didn't know who Stack Bundles was at the time, but he Stack Bundles wasn't really a name. He had just got his first deal with First and Fifteen. So <clears throat> walked through the door. Before, before you know it, a big old cypher kicked off. It was a lot of us down in this little hole in the wall basement just going at it, rah, rah, biting each other's heads off. So, like, dude was kicking some, like, real shit. Like, Lupe was kicking some shit and Stack Bundles was kicking some shit. But then I'm like, oh. and then after the session was over, uh, Lupe like, yo, let me put my CD in. Y'all like it, my shit, this is what I do. So he put his shit in, and I'm like, woo, like, dude, like, he was really, 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 really advanced. You know what I'm saying? I hadn't, like, I had never even had a song recorded. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even know how to make a full song in. I just had, like, hot 16s or 32s. I didn't even know how to count bars then. I was just a thirsty rapper just going at it and knew how to rap and will bite your head off if you challenge me, if you want the battle. But Lupe had structure to his shit. You know what I'm saying? And I they are telling us what he's doing. Like, you can sign with first and 15. We got to deal through era stuff. Jay-Z, you want to sign me? I turned him down. I've got a song with Eminem, and i got a song with yada, 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 Bryce Wilson. And after he started name dropping, I knew he wasn't look. I'm like, damn, i got to get out. I'm like, this is where I need to be. So the kid who I was with, <clears throat> he started hating a little bit. He started, he, he, he instantly tell Lupe, like, he like, yo, this is my artist. I'm like, well, who? I'm like, who you are, man? Fan, don't say that shit. I'm not your artist because I just met you. Fiasco, what's good, fam? How can I get out? We exchange numbers. And after that, it was history. I was in the studio, learned how to make a song, blah, 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 and it was on. They cut the check, and I've been recording with it first 15 ever since. 